Hello students, Miss Lockhart here. Let's practice our block letters again. So I am going to show you once more, actually twice more, with this first word, how to make it look like it's coming out of a one point perspective. So don't forget your point. Did you see that? I put mine there at the bottom middle of my page. And then the second step is to write your word out and try to center it as best you can. Or you can turn it in the corner and have a curved word. So this word, boo, is actually a really great word for block letters because it's quite simple to put another O inside of that one and then another O in there, and there you have it. You have block letters with the O's. And now for the B, it's similar in that you can just put a almost a circle with a flat left side inside the B you have your boo. Now let me show you how to connect it to the dot. So c put your ruler on the dot and then move it until it hits your letter on the far left. Wherever it hits the letter, that's where the line will connect to. So on the outside of the letter. See there, that's the outside of the B. And then I make sure I line up my ruler to the dot. I'm trying to line it up with the top of the B too, because I think the top of the B could meet, could meet the dot. There it is. Yeah, it meets it with a line. So you can see here on the left side of the O, I'm going to meet that outermost side of the O with the dot. So keep it on the dot and then swivel it and move it over to the outside of the O. Here we go again. The ruler is on the outside of the O and the dot, and I connect it with a line. And here we go. Okay, so I need to go ahead and do the exclamation point, starting with the circle. Same way. I've got to make sure that both sides of my shape are going to meet the dot with long lines. So you line it up with the dot and the outside of that shape. There we go. And it's really starting to look like it's coming out of the dot, like a one point perspective. And that dot is also called a vanishing point. A vanishing point is where things start to come out from or disappear into. So let me show you again with this other word. This word is a little bit more difficult than the boo. So let's try this. I can give you a few more demonstrations in case you're a little confused. So this word is going to be hello. And like before, I'm trying my best to center the word in the middle of my page and I put my dot at the bottom of the page in the middle. Those are the first few steps. Now, the difference here is I'm actually framing the H with a line that sort of mimics the shape of the H. So you go around the letter with another line that just follows the direction and shape. It looks kind of like a frame. And this is how I make block letters when I have long words. And even with that O, I'm going to do the same thing. We could just do one circle like we did before, but I want it to be the same width as the other letter, so I'm going to do it the same way. Now, let me show you again how to connect these letters. Remember, you line your ruler up to the dot and the outside of your letter. Each letter will ha end up having at least two lines coming from it. One line will be coming from the left side of the letter and then one line from the right side of the letter. Now do you see how the L right there is kind of um, overlapping where this the O's line is supposed to go. So I'm going to skip over the L. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the L. 
So there are at least two lines, like I said before, that connect. And it's the furthest left point of the letter and the furthest right. So you can see there. Oh, but look, there's one more. This is actually the furthest point on the left of the L. Make sure you line it up nice with your dot at the bottom. And it's getting really tight in here, but that's okay. When I outline it, that'll probably just become one line. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do this side of the L. Now the top of this L would not be seen. Okay, let's go ahead and move along to do the E. The E has a lot of different angles that could touch the dot. So let's see, there's that one. Here's this one. And then definitely the one on the left. Oh, and the top. So line up that ruler to the dot and see where... What could touch the, what, where could the dot land? And what part of the letter does that line touch if it's coming from the dot? I think by now if you've watched these few videos, you might have a good idea of what to do. And if it does not look perfect, that is totally fine. Because it's not going to. We're all just learning and practicing. It's a really fun way to learn how to write a word with block letters and how to make it look like it's coming right out of that vanishing point or have a one point perspective. It's a fun three dimensional kind of optical illusion. So I've, now I've done the H and so each little angle and each side of the H that could touch the vanishing point or the dot needs a line just like before so right up there at the top of the H that could meet the dot so let's go ahead and do a line there and I don't need it on top of that E because it's the E is overlapping that H and there we have it hello <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna want to outline my my uh, letter Oh, here. It looks like I missed one. Yeah, I guess that L does have... That, li that line could come down from the back there. Okay, so I'm going to spend some time erasing the inside, just regular letter that you wrote that wasn't a block letter before. So that way you're left with just the nice outline. And then it looks like a block letter. Even if you can't erase all of it, once you color over it, it will then definitely go away. So this was another sample just to hopefully help you with these. If you have a hard time, just make it um, how you would like. And it'll look a little different and that's okay. That's uh, pretty, pretty erased. I could always erase a little more. And I will. I will come back to erase after I outline. So now notice I'm using my ruler again to outline because those straight lines that come out from of the point are very straight. There is no way I'd be able to freehand that straight line without making a mistake or a curve in it. So I'm definitely using my ruler for these lines here. I just have to make sure I line it up nicely and be patient. Make sure it touches the dot and the outside of the letter and all the letter's angles. Now, you don't have to be using a black marker to trace. You could be using any color marker, preferably a dark marker. You could even be using a, a pen, a black pen or maybe some kind of highlighter. You can be creative and outline with what you want, what you have at home, a crayon is fine. Color pencils are great. And you'll see in the upcoming video how I choose to decorate and then color my word. And that will be in the next video. So the rest of this video here is me outlining using my ruler and then I will freehand some of the letters because the lines are shorter and I know I can draw that length of a line 
straight. And of course the O, you cannot use a ruler anyways, can you? So please go ahead and outline your word and then erase all of the pencil lines that are left over after you outline. And then the best part's coming up, the coloring. Yay. Thanks for watching, everybody. And you can, can watch it through the end if you want to see how I outline and erase. You may also begin to uh, work on yours if you understand how to get started. Don't forget to use a ruler or a straight edge. Okay, hope you have fun. Thanks for watching and participating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, and don't forget to watch the next video.